start recording. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Welcome to the Shack Shack. Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft. Here we are. Day before Christmas Eve. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Come on in. Come on in. It's persisting here. It's waning, waning, waning in Quobua. <laughs> Did you hear that? As it is going around at the moment on social media about the government guidelines that we're not allowed to use plosives anymore. <laughs> it's very funny. <clears throat> I'll find it and I'll, I'll copy it to my, uh, to my Facebook page or I might, I just did a really funny blog as well. Grace, Grace, you go and see Barbara Gray blog, uh, com. It's very funny. Grace is such a hoot. Anyway, yeah, check it out and uh, come on in, shut the door, it's persisting down. <laughs> Leave the umbrellas by the door, heating's on. It's been on since six o'clock this morning, it's lovely and toasty in here. Come on in. I remember years ago we, were, we went, well, we were in Mountain Air where we've got this old schoolhouse that's standing empty at the moment and um, we wanted to get internet and we, we went to this new um, business, right, that had opened up in the village, in the town, for the internet. <laughs> and I remember this little old lady came, because we thought we'd go and sort out some internet for the house. And this little old lady came to the door and she goes, you ain't from round these parts, are you? And she was rubbing her hands gleefully and I thought, cool, we're going to get stitched up here. <laughs> you ain't from round these parts, are you? No, we're not, I said. <laughs> No, no, we aren't. Yeah, still haven't got internet at the house. <laughs> What's the point? We're not there anyway. But just in case you were thinking of burgling it, it's okay. I have a caretaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good old Edith. Right, come on in. Yeah, I know. Day before Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Are you ready? Are you ready for Christmas? Whatever is it going on here, Christmas? It'll be all right. We're here to keep you company. We, the royal we. I am here to keep you company. So today we're going to do some lovely colouring in, a little bit of mental yoga. Okay. Dare I touch this to see if it's going to work. Hang on a minute. There they all are. Well, where else were you going to be? Hello, Sue Dakin. How are you? Are you feeling better yet? Hope so. Yeah, look. Ah. Oh. It's the same old familiar, isn't it? Do you feel like we're a family yet? <laughs> do you feel like we all know each other really well? I do. I feel I can tell you things that I can't tell other people. Oh no, it's public. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Funny old life at the moment, isn't it? Mmm. It's all right. This too shall pass. I bet you're sick of hearing me say that. What's the time? 9.59, hasn't started yet officially, this is just us, before it goes. And then we'll start colouring in. I've got a really nice, I've got a really nice thing, a thought. I, I've got to prepare it for Christmas Day for us, Friday. Yeah, I thought it'd be nice, you know. I've got something in my head. I've got to translate it onto paper, see if it works. I think it will. And it's good for me too, to practice, you know, get on the bus, get ahead a little bit of you. Work it out, get back, pick you up, and then off we jo off we jolly well go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be fine. It'll all be fine. And today, it's the festive, it's the festive part of the colouring in. So we're going with the greens and the reds. Yeah, I thought festive season, festive colours. Let's get in a festive mood. Hmm? If you had to say association game, if I said to you Christmas, what colour would you, what two colours would you throw back at me? Here we go, ready? Christmas. Exactly. Red and green, right? <laughs> it's not purple, is it? Christmas. If you say the Queen, the Queen. Purple, I think. I was thinking of pink, purple, not pink, not pink, not green. Purple. Yeah, you see? We'll go again, right? See if you're in tune with this. Christmas. There you go. Perfect. So have you got a red pencil and a green pencil? I've got a red pencil and a green pencil. It's not hard, is it? 
there you go any pencils will do i happen to be using the rolls royce of the pencil world which is the polychromos got really good greens and reds in the perga liners our pergamano brand come on in 10 o'clock welcome to the party <laughs> yeah it's blowing a hoolie out there really waning yeah, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas knot, hey? Be all right. Could be a hell of a lot worse. Oh yeah, but it isn't, you see? It's okay. What are you having to eat tomorrow, Christmas Eve? What are you gonna do? Oh, well you, English. The English among us and the Scottish and the Welsh and the Irish and the Americans, you all celebrate on, on Christmas day, don't you? You see, old habits die hard. Our Christmas is tomorrow. Our Christmas is tomorrow, Christmas Eve. So tomorrow I'm gonna to light a candle. I sure am. And Dave and I shall have a quiet Christmas Eve. Yeah, it's all good. Going out after the shack to get my meat. Well, Maggie Craner, good for you. <laughs> I'm having a turkey crown delivered. I am. I thought sod it, push the boat out. Kelly Bronze, come into my door. Yeah, it'll be fine. So, Christmas tree hair. Yeah, Sonia, isn't that funny? Check out my blog. I did it early because I thought, today's the day we need to smile. Today's the day where we're all gonna go, do you know what, this is really not the way I planned it. So. Let's have some fun, all right? Fake it to make it. And if the blog puts a smile on your face, then so much the better. And if you've got a long hair, a plastic bottle and an elastic band, have a go. <laughs> I did. Yeah, I'm on there as well. Get in there slowly, thanks, Barb. Tortoise-like. Slowly does it, easy does it, one day at a time, Sue. Okay. Steve Ellen's in the building with you today, with you lovely people. So if you have any questions, direct them at Steve, please. Uh, this is the sound okay, Steve? That would be good to know. That would be good to know. I think it is according to my, my little red and green. See, told you. We're programmed, don't we? Come on in. Welcome to all the newcomers. If we've got any newcomers, you're in the right place. Safe, happy and creative. So let's do some colouring. On Monday, we got out our poppets, didn't we? Let's have a look, shall we? Have you got your tea? Have you got your tea? Come on, let's have a sip. Ah, red and gold, that's true. Gold is very Christmassy too. We could add a little bit of gold, you know. We've got the gold pens somewhere. Those, um, you know the white Posca pens? Well, the gold Posca pens are excellent too. I have no, no idea where they are. Is that a Posca pen? Nine, nine, nine. I'm looking forward to having a little clear out. I've got, I've got, I've got piles of stuff everywhere. Yeah, I did have a gold Posca pen, but it ain't here. Oh, hang on, what's this one? That looks like silver. That lid looks a bit silver to me. Anyway, if you're looking for a gold pen, she never misses an opportunity, that Barbara Gray to flag something up. Well, I'm telling you now, the gold Posca pens are excellent. Look, I could show you where I tested them. <laughs> gold is good. There you go. Silver's not bad either. Yeah, yeah, I was testing it. Right, okay, so let's have a look while we're on this camera. Poppets, Christmas, whimsy, flowers. So at the moment, obviously, we're working on fresh. Right, let me put my cup of tea out of the way. So we're working on Presh. So these are printed postcards. For those of you who are not familiar with what we're doing, there's always a little one and a large one of six different designs. So you've got 12 postcards in each set. Very lovely quality. This is what we're drawing. This is the one we're working on. This is the one we're working towards. Okay, this is Marina Fedotova's artwork, licensed to us. She's given us permission to sell it to you so you can make them to sell and not in mass production. I don't expect to see this in Clinton's, but certainly in small quantities, we have her blessing and we have it in writing. Now, the other ones, the whimsy ones, they're the real fairy, lovely fairy ones. Okay, so come the spring, 
we're going to be on the fairies the little they're so beautiful right and of course we've got the flower ones so again come the new year we're going to be working on these i've got some really nice ideas for these so if you want them get them um business is pretty much as usual at clarity over the christmas period we're going to shut down for a couple of days just to regroup um but yeah back in the building on tuesday and so on but today we're doing this lovely poppet how do you feel about that and today we're going red and green because that is the only thing that's missing here red and green and a little blend of this and that okay so we're going to go with the red and green pick a red and green and let's get going just a lot of little tips and tricks doesn't doesn't it interesting how we've done the white the white dress and the wings okay and now we're just going to add and we've done the star we did the little drop on the star didn't we the drop shadow really nice so today we're going to do this and possibly let me see if i'll find it i might add a little bit of the fleshy color to the hands and to the face we'll do that as well okay and of course we're going to need a couple of grays i'll tell you the colors as we go along and actually if you've got a dark blue like that that's handy because that's what's going to make those, that dark green okay i'm going to use green and blue to make dark green but at the end of the day all you need is red and green okay are you ready to rock and roll that's going to be my my set there and we'll start with the green we're gonna we're gonna kind of advance right so we'll go with green first does that sound good festive colors festive season festive mood we're just here to keep you company right smile that's better it's difficult to be miserable when you're smiling there you are works every time and don't worry if your parcels didn't arrive it's no big shakes is it they will get there eventually some poor postman's struggling through the rain at the moment trying to deliver you know so let's just have a heart and let it happen when it happens okay i'm sure there's not a person on your christmas list that won't understand if your present didn't arrive and sheila while we're on the subject yours hasn't arrived yet either <laughs> sorry it'd be really nice though and paul if you're listening yours hasn't arrived yet either because Paul's and Sheila's are in coming from the same place. <laughs> there you go. Eggs and baskets every time gets me. <laughs> they don't mind. I don't mind. I'm not going to stress over that. Golly, with everything else going on. Hmm? They're not edible, by the way, so it's okay. There's not a perishable date on it. It can take as long as it takes. <laughs> right, come on. Stop larking about, Grey. We'll put the little press to one side. Can I tell you, whenever I say Presh, I think of Linda Williams, my Welsh bestie, because she calls me Presh. Hello, Presh. And that's why we called this one Presh. There you go. Right, green. Glasses, green, and off we jolly well go. So the first thing we want to do, you ready for this then? We'll start at the top and we'll work our way down. And also what we want to do is protect our little girl, protect our presh, yeah? So we'll start up here. Have you got a bit of scrap just to test? Where's my tester gone? It's always a good idea to have a tester that's the same. Can you hear that rain? It is ha hammering down here. Now where did I put that bit of paper? Oh, here it is. I had eyes. Right, so I'll put that over there because I'm a lefty. Who's left handed? Hands up, who's lefted? Who's left handed? Are there many of us? Tend to be a lot less left handed people than right handed people. <laughs> I'm very left handed. Very, very left handed. Now, let's have a look. Cover that up. And what we'll do is first, we'll add a light layer of green to all the bits we want to make green. Really light, levitating almost. Come on. Let's do this, because as you do this, you'll go, oh, there's a berry there. 
you'll start to see things. <laughs> Here we go, two berries there. It's what I love about this particular type of artwork, Marina Fedotova's artwork. It's very, it's very sketchy, so it looks very sort of hand drawn. And we've we've managed to kind of recapture the, the authenticity of it, right? In the stamps as well, we've got stamps of these. Um, and we've also got it in printed parchment. Look, see? It's printed on parchment. In fact, this is where we're getting our, our colouring ideas from, because I thought, well, I can't I can't improve on what Marina's done, so why try? So I, I've taken her her original.
The sound is back now? The sound is back now. I think the sound is back now. Let me just, Steve Ellen could tell me. I'm going to put my phone on, um, on so that they can call me, okay? Right, is the sound working now? Sorry about this. Is the sound working now? Yeah, I know. The sound is not working, Steve, right? Um, I'm going to put new batteries in. Now let's see if this works. So I've got, got both of them on now. See if that doesn't work then I might have to shut it all down. No, here we go. See now it's working. It might have been the batteries. Can you hear me? Yeah, you can, can't you? I know it's working again now. Sorry. <laughs> right. Oh, it's a game. Bloody game. Right, see you later, Dave. Thanks for letting me know. Bye, darling. Bye-bye, darling. Bye-bye. I'll get you a tea. Is the sound back? Can I have a tea, please? Certainly. <sighs> <laughs> uh, crikey, Mikey. Right, we're there. All right, all oh, back on. We ran out of petrol. Come on, back on the bus. <laughs> the game. Can I be honest, like brutally honest?
what's coming out of my mouth is not what is actually going on in my head right now. <laughs> Naughty elves. Poxy batteries. <laughs> It didn't say I'd run out. Okay, right. Are we back on track? Yes, we can hear you. There you go, Steve. Thank you. This two shell bars, yeah. <laughs> Battery's not included. Is that a film, Karen? Let me know. I will look it up. I bought my mum these really expensive, you know, like flickering candles. I bought them on Amazon, $24.99 for three candles. I mean, I ask you, right? And then I had them sent to mum's house. No batteries, batteries not included. Are you kidding me? For 25 quid, you haven't put the batteries in? Useless. <laughs> What's the world coming to? <laughs> right, so where were we before we were so rudely interrupted? Yeah, look up the thing about plosives. Not allowed to say P anymore. Got to say F. <laughs> so instead of Parliament, you've got to say Farliament. <laughs> it's very funny. Try getting through a whole sentence where there are P's and say F instead. It's fissing down here. <laughs> All right, come on, stop larking about, Gray. Okay. Right. Did you did you miss a bit about the blue then and the green on the little scrap? Well, never mind. Come on, keep going. Blue and green. Now let's have a look. So we're going to use a little bit of blue inside the the holly. We're all right. We're all right. <sighs> Good job it wasn't live television. <laughs> I'm glad that happened today and not Friday when I didn't have anybody to tell me, hey? Because we're on our Jack Jones on Friday. Everybody's having a day off except us, okay? So maybe on Friday, I'll leave my phone on so that one of you can call me and tell me <laughs> that it's gone wrong. Right, a bit of blue over the green gives you a beautiful shadow, okay? Right, here we go. So what we're going to do now is flick from the inside along that vein. Marine has pretty much given you, given you the line to shade. Just go along the sketch line. That's all you've got to do. Quite a sharp pencil. Actually, quite a sharp pencil. Have a look. Just turn it around. If you do that a bit on one side, and when you flick it over, it'll be sharper. Okay, right, that's better. Rather than keep sharpening it. Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit of blue in there. Everybody happy? It's all good. It's all good. Hey, okay. oh, I know what I need to do. See, it doesn't matter what happens. It's how you, I keep saying it, it doesn't matter what happens. It's how we respond to it that will affect us. You know, it's always that. So, just hold that thought, okay? Because we're all gonna be a bit edgy at the moment, a bit on edge, a bit uptight. Be weird if you weren't. It'd be weird if you weren't. Is my head in the way? Look, doesn't that look pretty with the blue over the top of the green? I think it looks really cool. And you can get darker on that as well, right? So go back again, try and get... Say, if, if your leaf is like this, let's have a little bit of a lesson on, on colouring in. If, if you want to get it really tight there, so say you're, that, that's an it there, right? So you've gone, you've gone green to there really lightly. Let's just do, let's do a little graph like that. So you do green to there. Okay, then maybe you do green to here. You go a bit further, you go in with the green a bit further, like there, right? So you go halfway, right? So you do that bit to there, half. So you've got green, and then you've got a second layer of green, 
and then with this one you go to a quarter so you go to there see and then that way that's how you get a really lovely graduation so it's light green to there right now I could go another generation I could go another generation with the green then I could go another generation with the green to there so it's always a half a quarter and an eighth and then right in here see go like that so that's how it works. You go the whole way, halfway, quarter of the way. And see how you get a lovely graduation. And once you use your blending tool then over the top, once you smooth all this out, you'll see you get a lovely, beautiful graded. Great, so it's just like an ombre. It just moves from one color into another really seamlessly. But if you remember the rule, all the way, half the way and quarter of the way. So it's light, medium, dark. And that's what we're doing here. So for example, now, I could go over the top of this green because this is quite a small area it's not that easy to do but now I'm going back over the green halfway up see so now I'm going from the top going in there and I'm just moving see how it adds lovely shadow thank you Dave Dave just brought me a cup of tea very good of you darling oh in a special mug you must dug it out can I give you the cold one can I no, give you the really. cold one Let's just move these batteries. Thank you. Might need those, mightn't you? Yeah, don't don't take the batteries away. <laughs> Have fun. See you later. Indeed. Thanks, Pat. Look. What's it say? To teach is to change a life forever. Thank you, Pat Hosking. Lovely mug. Right, come on. So, let's keep going. Are you all right with this? I don't care if we go on a little bit longer today, since we m missed half of it with this silent movie. Come on. Right, so, so now we can add a little bit. Of, what You'll really get the feel for this idea in a minute. I've got blue. See, this one here. So I'll come out a little bit more with the green over the top. See, so layers. Layers. And then come back in and really tight with the blue right around that little berry. Be lovely when we put the blue in, when we put the red in, it'll look good. Okay. Tiny little bit of blue, just come in there like that. Gives it depth. That'll do. Right, let's look at her feet. Let's look at her shoes. So again, so we've done like a whole green shoe, say, right? And now we're gonna go one more time like that. But now this bit is going to be darker, this half of the shoe, if you like. It's going to be shadowy round there. Look, I'll show you. See, so the shadow is on this side. It's quite dark though, isn't it? Look, I can go darker and darker, right? That bit there. Right, so let's do this nice and green in the tip like that. Right, here we go. So what we want to do now is make this bit a bit darker. So we'll just add another layer of green on this side. There we are. Like that, not so hard, is it? See, so you start to get shadow. And on this side, I'm gonna go in this area here. This is gonna be the shadow here. Right, so lightly there. It's just a lesson in, in shading, really, isn't it? Look, there you go. So we've got, don't press too hard though, because in a minute the blue won't blend. Right, so we've done that, done that. Maybe a little bit of green down the bottom of underneath where he's holding it as well. A bit lighter on top, bit darker down the bottom. Looks good. Okay, now I'm checking. Yes, we can hear you. Oh, good. Let me know when it goes wrong again. It won't go wrong again. It's sorted now. New batteries save the day. Right, okay. So now I've done that. Now let's take our blue. Okay, take the blue. And let's add a little bit of blue to this side here gone over the edge a bit but it doesn't matter because that's the loveliness about Marina's artwork it's so sketchy it doesn't matter if you miss the line a bit right there you go so as soon as you add a bit of blue over the top look it really makes it pop there you go so in we go there I might add a bit in the creases as well just because it's there you go let's do that see how it looks like a shadow now little bit of, instead of using grey, we're using the blue. 
This is good. Good, good, good. Now, how dark do you want to go? So we've got a really good bit of blue going on there. Got a really good bit of blue going on there. Doesn't that look good? Now it's how dark do you want to go? See, I've gone a bit darker on that one. It's entirely up to you. Got some blue. Come on, just dig it in there on the side. See, it looks green though, doesn't it? Now let's go back over the top. Let's just do it with a little bit of green over the top. Checking it out. Yeah. Now, once we've done that, let's do a bit more green over there as well, just because we can. Okay, because this star is what's throwing the light on her shoe. Now, let's have a look at the <clears throat> blending tools. Come on. Blending tools next. Right, so what we're going to do now is just... Here we are. In we go. Okay. See? And that just tones the colour down beautifully. So you get a lovely smooth. That'll do. Then you've got a green one and you've got a red one. How's that look? Are we happy with that? Yeah, we are. And you can add to that and add to that and titivate until the cows come home. But that's what we're going for, is that that lovely that loveliness. And again, in in the in the holly leaves. Just a little bit of blending, and it will just take those colours through the leaves. There you go, that'll do. Pretty, isn't it? So we've got all the green we need. I don't think there's any more green here. Let's put a little tiny bit of blue in there. Come on. See how the blue changes the green? I like that effect. That'll do. Okay, now red it is. We're ready for the red. Are you ready for the red? Which red are you going to use? I'm going to use uh, Deep Scarlet Red. That was the one I used for the Nordic Gnomes. Cool, they were good, weren't they? They were good. Oh, excuse my tummy. Did you hear that? Right, Nordic Gnomes, Scarlet Red. Now, first thing we want to do is do the little tiny bits. So the first thing I need is a sharp, because when we do this little berry, just do the bit around the, leave a little bit of white, see? It's easier to leave a bit of white than add it afterwards. You could. There you go. That's a piece of cake. Got it? So it looks like the light's hitting that little bauble. Cool. Now, what else we got? Down here, we've got his hat. Let's do his hat. And the ribbon. Right, to do the ribbon, I'm going to sharpen my pencil a little bit. So, what can I do? If I do that a little bit, then I'm going to turn this round, make the artwork come to me, and I want to get glasses if I've got them. Right, we're just going to get in that ribbon. Here we go. Down we go. Gently does it. Nice. A little bit of light colour and then dark depth and then here a bit darker down the bottom maybe where is little that'll do nice that's it a little flick of that red and then we're going to do a little bit of make his hat a bit darker shall we how's that cool nice little fella eh you could try and draw him it's not that easy you know right and then we've got his tummy and his cheeks, but we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. Let's do her, her stockings, right? That's the next bit of red. So first generation, first generation, lightly does it, get a layer down so you know what you're actually coloring in. Everybody happy? You all right? There you go. Cool, it's a good job Dave was here. Otherwise I could have gone on for an hour and not realised that the sound was off. Mmm. Is it on again? Yeah, it's fine now. You get complacent, you see. You think that things are working. You get you take things for granted, don't you? You know, I think that's a lot to do with it. We take things for granted. And it's even with something as simple as the sound. I looked at the beginning of the hour and the sound bars were up. 
and I assumed that that meant the sound bars were going to stay up. Not so. And so I guess, what less note to self, be vigilant. Be vigilant. It's the same with, with Christmas. You know, just because last week it was all business as usual, we assumed that was going to carry on. We've got to roll with the punches a little bit now, you know, and react so that we don't get upset react so that we don't get upset because when you get upset about something I for, I can only speak for myself but if I get upset about something I get a, it's like an emotional hangover it doesn't it's not just the moment when I'm upset it hangs it's there's a residual and it's uncomfortable you know so don't be getting upset about something today because it will mess up tomorrow you see so what we've got to do is try and hit the pause button monitor our reaction not always easy. I'm not very good at it at the moment. Try my best. But what I'm saying is, if we monitor our response, our first response is like, wow, right? And then what happens is, it's not just, it's the residual, it's the follow-up. Like, I, I lost it yesterday, and today I felt awful when I woke up. You see? And it's that that I need to avoid. I don't want to spoil today with something that I could have changed yesterday. You know what I mean? And so, we hit the pause button. This is me talking to myself now. We keep our mouths firmly shut until we can respond properly. And I wish I'd had that conversation with myself yesterday morning. But I didn't. Right, but I did today. So what we're going to do is build, we're building up now to the jacket. Okay, let's not mess the hat up, Gray. That's it. So if your turkey doesn't turn up, <laughs> I've already talked to myself. If me expensive Kelly Bronze turkey doesn't turn up today, it's okay. It's fine. There's plenty in the freezer. I could I could stay at home until June and eat, or just plow my way through the frozen food. So um, I've already talked to myself. If the turkey doesn't turn up, I'm not going to worry. I'm not going to sweat the small stuff. Are you with me on that one? If the stuff doesn't turn up that you're expecting, come on. It won't be anyone's fault. It's not going to be terminal. Okay. Are we, in, are we in this together? Good. Don't get uptight about stuff. Because the only thing it will affect is you. You won't get the turkey there any faster. <laughs> Hang on. I can see this little turkey at the end of the road going, Hang on, she's losing it. We better hurry up. <laughs> Ain't happening. All right. You could, you could throw all your toys out of the pram and that turkey's not going to get there any faster, people. I'm already, I'm preparing myself. <laughs> right. Anyway, what does it matter? There's no one here anyway. There's only Dave and me. Okie dokie. Right, we're on to the red jacket now. This is the best bit. It's the easiest bit. Right, red jacket. So we want, we want a flat bit, soft. We'll do a soft layer for... Do you know what we could do? Just to be sure, to be sure. Where's the white one? Let's get a little bit of a white flick going. Hang on. A little bit of a white flick. Just into the jacket from the, from the fur collar. Like that. Just a tiny little bit. I've just noticed that's supposed to be yellow. All right. Do you know what I've noticed? There's a little bit of red in her hair as well. We'll do that afterwards. Right, light... light circular motions let's color this jacket in here we go and you get that lovely resist where you put the white that's the theory right round it goes that's her that's the sleeves right, come on it's going to be solid red so you don't have to worry if there's a little bit if it's a bit patchy because we're going to make it beautifully a 100 percent opacity red okay there you go that's the bit inside the sleeve cool i mean that's the thing about these bee pencils because they're oily and these polychromos 
you can really get a rich color with these. These are the, the, the best, even if I say so myself. Right, I'll tell you what, while we're on it, let's do the berries, right? So turn the pencil around. If you've got a flat side there, then you're going to have a sharper side on that side. So turn it, turn it around and leave a little bit of white. And if you can't, because it's too, then don't worry, we can always add a little bit of white with the Posca pen afterwards, if you've got one, can't you? There you go. A little bit of white, just to show that the, the light's shining on the berries. It's all right, the little things give you joy. Right now, back to the flat, and now we're gonna go for the jacket. Another layer, go for it. See, the more layers you do, I'm going to state the obvious now. The more layers you do, the darker it gets. <laughs> yeah. Is that so? Right, here we go again. Can you see this all right? I'm off the picture as well. Oh, we're having it all going on today, aren't we? There you go. Let's try that camera. And let's turn her around so you're looking at her, not upside down, so you don't get seasick. And I'm going to colour her in from this... Oh, what was that I dropped? Not as... Oh, hang on, it was my rubber. Can't go without my eraser. Because in a minute, I'm going to wonder where I put it. Biggest selling product. These are the two... No, I've got three... Guess what they are? If I if I had if you had to guess what the three selling product biggest selling products are, it's the razor, the blending pens, and the groovy tabs. Yep, pretty much one in every order. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? I I am very grateful, and I'm very glad that a lot of people are turning to making things during this phase of our lives, you know, using the time to get creative. So that's all we're doing here, isn't it? It's just, that's all we're doing here is just staying sane, really, aren't we? Well, some of us are better than others. I'm not, I'm pretty insane at the moment, but that's okay. We're getting there. There we go, look, see? Start to build up those layers. So you don't have to, you might like it. So that it, let's have a look. You may say, I don't wanna do it bright red. Hey, listen, she's your press, not my press. This is my press. You've got your press, I've got my press. So you may, let's have a look, power of comparison. Do you, I, I personally, I think it looks really nice. Really, really, really red, but it's up to you. Right. If you want to add a little bit of, maybe you don't want to do it red. Maybe you want to do it dark blue, that'd look pretty too. I just went with Marina's artwork because I just thought it was exquisite, that's all. Right, here we go. But red's easy as well. Don't worry about shading, light and shade. It's all one solid colour. And then afterwards we can add a little bit of depth with a dark grey, can't we? See, we can add a bit of, that's it, let's go up there to the, you see, and you've got a little bit of flash of white going on in the top where we, we put the white pencil, so we've got a little flash of resist, haven't we? So let's make a plan, making a list, da 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 da, -da. right, we've got a plan going. Keep busy, that's what this is all about. Keep busy, keep your mind distracted. Don't sit staring out the window, getting despondent, because that, won't help anybody, okay? No point in that at all. So what we're gonna do is make a list and then start ticking some things off, off our list. Gives us a sense of achievement and get stuff done as well. <laughs> okay, there, this looks good. And so, for example, on Friday morning, put a date in your diary, Friday, Christmas Day, if you're at a loose end, rather than be sad, join me in the, um, I'm on Hochanda. There you go, I'm on Hochanda for, a, for an hour between nine o'clock and 10 o'clock. We'll sort your Sunday morning out. You don't 
going to be lonely. Let me just get one of these. So between nine o'clock and ten o'clock, I'm with lovely Catherine Sturrock. Got some really nice demos. Let's just blend these colours a little bit so I can get right in on that line. All right. So we've got some really nice new stamps. Got some nice demos. I think you'll enjoy that show. And that's from nine o'clock until ten o'clock. And then at ten o'clock, we're going to flick straight forward over to Shack Shack. And we're going to have an hour of live doodling and I'm going to plan that. I'm going to make something really special because we've done this one now. We've done lovely presh, right? So we've done presh, which is great. There you go. And so, so that's going to be, there you are, that's going to be the best part of Christmas morning sorted. We'll do something lovely, hey? Be, it doesn't matter if there's two of us or 20 of us, 200 of us. I'm here. And that's all you need to know, you know, that there's somewhere for you to go if you're feeling low or if you want a little bit of company. It's that easy. Just pop in. Don't have to even colour in with us. All you're going to need is a pencil and a piece of paper, OK? And if you've got a micron pen, a black pen or a biro, bring that as well. You don't need anything more than that. We're going to keep it real simple and lovely. OK, I've got a nice idea. Hopefully it'll work. There, doesn't that look pretty? I know. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right, now we need a bit of grey to add a bit of shade. So we'll go with the grey. Right, let's add a little bit of shade where, where there's an overlap. So we're going to come along there. And we're going to come along here. Yeah, does that work? Let's see. Got a bit of shade in there. Yeah, perfect. See, and then if I want, I can go back in with the red, tone it back down to red, and it'll be a deeper red, because, of course, it's got a grey over the top. There you go. It's that easy. So we're going red, grey, blending tool, red, grey, blending tool, red, grey, blending tool. See, and then you go like that, and then in you go. You've got a lovely dark overlap. I've got a better grey than that. Where is it? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Grey five. Going, I'm going one number darker now, just to get those really dark, the little dark areas. See, and this is where you just titivate a bit. So you go in and you add a bit of depth. Like under here, where the jump now, the lovely red jacket is, so I'm going in. Remember that my theory about, there you go, look, my theory about the colour graduation. So the blue, we used that lovely sky blue, didn't we? So the blue's gone all the way out like that, right? And maybe done a little bit more, a little bit more. So it's all the way, half the way. And now the quarter of the way, I'm going to tuck right in on that line and just add a little bit of grey along there. And you'll see how it makes it jump. It just creates the illusion of layers. And then, once I've done that, doesn't it suddenly make it jump? Then you're just going to take a, I'm going to keep that one blending pen for red, and then I've got one for grey and one for green. See, and then I'm going to come in here and I'll just, whoo, just smooth out that shading. It's all dry, there's no oil or anything on here. There you go. There we are, you see. So you add a little bit more grey. Go easy. So, that looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, so you can do the same along here as well. Add a bit of depth. And the other thing is, if you go too far, and this is the best part, and now you know why these are the best selling things in our company, right? If you think you've overcooked it with the colour, then all you do is go back. The only problem that you've got to be careful of is that you don't hit the red and that's why we did the, the darkest colour first because if I hit the red now with the eraser it will stain, yeah? So that's why you just got to stay away from the red. Right, that's good. So let me just check. What haven't we done? Le visage, the face, okay? Let's go fleshy. Lovely, gentle, pinky colour. I'm going to make her pink. Right, so we're going to use this pink and we're going to just add a little flash of colour through here. There you go. Just a little bit through there. 
just to change it from white, that's all. And our little hands, a tiny bit of pink in there, a tiny bit of pink in there. So, there was another thing I wanted to talk to you about. Right, clubs. Who's joined the club? Who's joined our cl craft club? We've got a Clarity Craft Club. I'm going to have a shout out about it now. Because, again, it, I don't think this COVID thing's going away anytime soon, right? And even before the, I mean, it's been going for, oh, blimey, how long have I been, how long have I had a project club? Years and years and years, like 20 years, 20, longer. But it's a really cool club. I mean, if you want to get into craft, there are four different clubs within the club. So you've got, um, look, I'll show you what I'm going to do now. I'm taking the blending tool and I've got a little bit of red on there. Do you see? Rather than use a pencil, look, I'm taking the blending tool with the red that I used on the, on the jacket. And if you like the way I teach and you like the way I put it, you know, maybe you should look at the clubs. See, what I'm doing now is I'm just putting a tiny bit of, and her cheeks look, see, here, gently does it. You build up that cheeky colour, cheeky colour, gently so it doesn't get patchy. See, just in there, tiny little bit. You can always add it, it's not so easy to take away. There we are, look, see, isn't that pretty? Yeah, so as far as the clubs go, if you, if you find, oh, we've got to do this bird. Right, this is a bit red again on his tummy. I'm going to take a bit of red from here. Right, let's check. And I'm going to add it. Rather than use a pencil, I'm going to use a blending tool. Look, a bit of cheeky, cheeky chappy, little cheeky robin. Right. Yeah, so the clubs. They're, they're, it's a paid subscription, but you get, I'll show you in a minute. Let me just do him. I'll show you. You get a fantastic value for money, really. And you get something every month. You get double projects. So it's a way of increasing your, it's a way of joining the community. It's a way of increasing your, your art and crafting skills. All right, let's have a look what we've got now. I'm going to use, yeah, I'm going to use the pink actually, just a little bit of, just to change him a little bit and just put a little bit of pink down. Don't worry, I'll do a bit of brown as well. There, that's cool. Um, now there's four different strands to the club as well. Over the years, it started out, it used to just be stamps and then we moved to stencils and then we moved to, what do we do then? I don't like this colour. Uh, let's do that colour instead. What have we got here? Uh, one, uh, you need a light brown, 187. Let's see if that's about right. Mm, not really. Let's have a look. Um, yeah, so there's stamps and there's stencils. Then we went to Groovy, which is the parchment stuff that everybody's into. That, that really hit the spot. Um, yeah, we've got many, 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 many members of the, of the clubs. Um, and then we've got dyes as well, which is lovely. I like the dye club. I really like the dye club. Um, and so this year, I mean, if you're going to start new year, new beginnings and all that, now's the time, isn't it? Now's the time to join. And, and um, Steve Ellen, he will give you the links. Or you can ring Janine at the office. She's in. She's brilliant. She's brilliant. Really brilliant. She'll help you if you want to join up. I'll give you, I'll, let me just do this little fella and then I'll show you an example. I just think now more than ever might be a really good time to join one or two or three. See, the other thing is, of course, if you started buying our stuff, you get really good discount as well. So, because there's a club discount, club members discount, special and different, you know, always, always, always got sales for the club members because those are the good people that pay our bills, you know, they're the ones, they're the ones that sort of, it's like a loyalty club, really, isn't it? That's it. Doesn't that look pretty, that little fella? Hey, see, a little bit of grey, a little bit of titivating. I don't think we've missed anything now. So just a little trick with the blending tools, wasn't it? Where have I put my blending tool? I bet it's staring at me here, isn't it? Here he is. Right. So I want to put that red in again. So I take that blending tool out, put that blending tool in. I just want to add a little bit of red to his... Just blend that through so he's not so... I want a little bit of red. I'm just going to take a bit off her jumper, off her coat, and put some on his, on his tummy. It's just very soft, you see. Softer than trying to blend a pencil that softly. 
Tips and tricks, tips and tricks, that's all it's about, isn't it? So let's have a look. We've got that, we've got that. There we are. Nice, nice, nice. And I think that's it. I think we've actually finished. Yeah, there's a little tiny thread of red running through her hair. And I need the sharpener to do that. And then I think we're good to go. We're golden. And we've completed our first pop-it postcard. There you go. See, if you join the club, straight away, if you join any of the clubs, you get 10% off everything. So if you're going to go and buy the postcards, you get a discount. You know, it does make sense. If you're going to start buying crafty stuff, what was I going to do with this red? Oh, yeah, run through her hair. See, there's a ribbon in there. It does make sense. You know it makes sense. And the other thing is, you get a lovely, whether it doesn't matter where you live, abroad, whether you're in Germany or America, you get a lovely envelope through the door every month. And not only do you get the project, let me show you. And the other thing is, we got like a massive library of past issues as well. Like they're never dated and they're brand new designs, so you never, you never actually, you couldn't possibly have what we send you because they're always the best and the brand, the brand newest of what we've got. Look, isn't she pretty? See, the only difference between the one that we've just done and this one is I've spent a little bit more time titivating with my grey pencils. You can see how it's just a little bit darker, that one, isn't it, than that one. But there you go, lots of tips and tricks. I hope you enjoyed that one. And what I want to show you, I dug out when I was at the office yesterday, I thought, I know, I know what I want to do. I want to show you like a stencil. So you see what you get with the club and you see how it works, okay? So this is just one issue, so a monthly issue. And this one is from, this is number 26. So this is from 2016. It's four years, over four years old. Okay, but it is so, let me show you. So this is a double project. This is the stencil. You get the stencil. We send you the stencil so you can do the project, right? So you get a beautiful stencil. And I don't know about you, but I, I mean, for four years old, this is one of the loveliest stencils that we, I just love it. And there, and I didn't pick out the best one. I just picked out one of my favorites, but I wanted to show you. Look, it's a beautiful tree stencil, right? And then what happens is you get projects. So I think I did that one and I bet Dee did that one, right? So Dee Paramore and I, there's several of us work together on this kind of stuff. But you see, and then what, what it does is it gives you an introduction. So this is this is all about how to use Yupo paper, for example. And then you get, you get a, like a proper step-by-step -step project, two actually, you get that one, there's one, Shows you how to get that using alcohol inks if you want to have a go. There's a shopping list, 10% 10 discount. Then on the other side, I think this was the one I did. See, it's using the jelly plate. So if you want to get into that kind of mixed media art. And so every single project, it gives you, look, this is nice. Shows you how to curl the edges. Another neat aging trick is to roll a card corner around a pencil and then curl it with your fingers to make a faux scroll see so all these sort of ticks and tr tr ticks and trips <laughs> tricks and tips they're in these in these beautiful concertina projects I think this is lovely see and that comes together now whether you have a stencil subscription and then you get your stencil with it obviously or stamp you get stamp die you get the die that's come down in price because we've been able, because of the number of people in the club, we've been able to reduce the price, which is great because we can order more. That's how it works. Um, so we've got stencils and then the groovy plates, which is the biggest club by a country mile. Yeah. So, so have a have a think about that. Steve Allen will give you um, all the information on that. I think it's worth investigating. It's worth investigating. I would join just for the discount. <laughs> and that's nothing to do with all this lot. So have a look at that. And um, and then I wanted to say, be good, be kind, be gentle. Don't sweat the small stuff. If it doesn't go the way you wanted it to, just go with the flow. Okay, go with the flow. Don't do, don't make the mistake I did yesterday, losing my rag and then taking that kind of emotional hangover into the next day over something that really, I, it was something that got resolved. Um, I didn't need to lose my 
my head over it, okay? And the trouble is it does, it sticks in your cloys, doesn't it? So let's, let's together, let's just be calm through this. And on Friday at 10 o'clock, let's just do it, right? Wear your Christmas jumper or a lovely Christmas top, make the effort, pretend we're getting together, right? And put your makeup on and bring a mince pie and a cup of tea. And, and let's just spend a happy hour at nine o'clock with in the shack, uh, in at Hochanda. Lovely, lovely. Selly telly, but very nice. Very nice. I love Catherine. And then straight into the shack shack. And that'll be Christmas Day morning sorted. By the time we've recovered from that, there'll be a really good film on the telly. And before you know it, it'll be Boxing Day. Okay. So lots of love. And if you get a chance to go for a walk, take a brolly. And Steve Ellen, thank you for your help. And other than that, I don't think there's anything I want to tell you, except I can't wait to see you on Friday. Lots of love. And, and, and happy 24th. Frohe Weihnachten to all our German, because um, they'll be celebrating tomorrow. So wie wir auch. All right. Lots of love. Be safe. Bye-bye now. See you on the other side. Hmm. Oh, and sorry about the, the, the heating. Sorry about the